Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a review of the DSA course by Collegewala. So Physicswala has entered the stream of programming and he has been making courses on pretty much everything from SSC, GATE, IIT, MBA, UPSC and now he has finally entered the world of programming. So Collegewala has gotten very famous. He has gotten around 300,000 subscribers in a very small period and there's a ton of teachers like there's a whole group of teachers who are teaching subjects of programming here. So I'm going to talk about two courses which are Java and DSA Foundation course and C++ and DSA Foundation course. So they have a course on DSA using Java and they have a course on DSA using C++. So I'm going to talk about both of them. So I've seen videos from both of them. I've done a little bit of research. So I've seen most of the videos to get an understanding of how the course is. So one thing you need to understand is that Physicswala is a, paid, is a paid platform, right? And the goal of any paid platform is to redirect students to their platform. Okay, so the goal of making all of these uh, like uh, channels, so he has like uh, 35 channels if I'm not wrong. So he has around 35 channels, right? And the main goal, I would say, the primary goal of the channel is to redirect students to their website, okay? And they have recruited a lot of teachers. So some of the teachers would be recognizable to you from uh, other YouTube videos. Some of them are not recognizable, but they have basically hired a lot of teachers to teach the subjects. Okay, now let's get into the actual review, right? So the course is good. The course itself is not bad. It's pretty decent. It's actually better than what I expected it to be. The course is good. It's not bad. It's not something extraordinary either. But it's good. It's decent. And one really great thing about the course is that it is beginner friendly. So everything starts from the very basics. So they even explain what is programming. So if you are someone who's from a non-CS field, a non-IT field, or if you are someone who's just entered college and you don't even know what programming is, you can take their course. The course starts from very, very basics. So the course is pretty much very beginner friendly. So that is one great thing about the course. Both of the courses are beginner friendly. They start from the very basics of what is C++, how to install like Visual Studio Code, how to run C++ in your uh, system. Likewise, even in Java, they have uh, what is Java, how to run IntelliJ in your system, how to run Visual Studio in your system. So it is very beginner friendly. That is one great thing about the course. So the basics they've covered pretty clearly. There's nothing wrong with the basics for basics of C++ and Java. So even if you want to learn Java, you want to learn C++, you can refer to their videos. It's pretty good. One more thing that I would like to mention is that they've been pretty consistent so far. So they started the course two months ago and they've been pretty consistent. You can see that the recent videos are even six days ago, two weeks ago, even one day ago. So the consistency is on point. That's one more good point about the course is that they are very consistent. Now. The basics are good. What about the advanced topics? So pretty much any good programmer can teach you the basics of programming, right? But what really defines a good teacher is how they teach the difficult topics or the more advanced topics, right? Like graphs, dynamic programming, trees, etc. So the course is still ongoing, which is uh, one con of this course. One disadvantage of taking this course is that the course is not yet finished. It is still ongoing. But they have covered one advanced topic I can say, which is recursion. So they have covered recursion in both C++ and Java. The course is pretty much running in parallel and they have pretty much covered recursion. So recursion, the way they've covered is again decent. It's not the best. If I compare it to take you forward's recursion course. So let me say take you forward recursion. Then take you forwards recursion basics from advanced backtracking series. This is better than what they are teaching in recursion. Like this isn't bad either. This is pretty good as well, but you have a better option here, which is again Striver. So for advanced topics, you can still take their course. It's not bad. Again, I'm not saying it's bad. It is good, but I'm saying that you have better options available. But one more thing is there that the teachers here are very charismatic. So all of their videos, you'll never find it boring. So you'll never find that their videos are boring. The teachers are very charismatic. 
you'll feel like it's a live class and you'll be hooked on to it so again if you're new to programming if you're a complete beginner then i would highly suggest you this so if you're a beginner right then you can definitely definitely take this course but if you are a like veteran programmer if you are someone who has a good knowledge of programming then i would not recommend their content to you but if you are a beginner then definitely you can go along with the course it is pretty much very very beginner friendly like things are very very simple there and like i said the teachers are very charismatic you will not be getting bored in the middle of the lectures so that's pretty much it because the course is yet ongoing and uh, again the course is very very consistent i think soon they'll be able to complete pretty much every topic given the fact that they have more than one mentor in uh, code help and striver you only have one one guy teaching right but here you have a large variety of teachers making the course content etc etc so i'm thinking the course will be completed soon enough and when it's completed i'll make another review so the like uh, the main thing that i would say about the course the main thing which is a problem for me is the fact that the course is not complete yet so if you don't have a lot of time for placements so this is the thing right if you don't have a lot of time for placements if you have a few months to prepare don't go with this course but if you're a beginner you're in first year you're in second year you just started learning programming you can definitely take this course okay so if you don't have a lot of time don't make the mistake of going with this it may not be the best option for you right now so that's pretty much it i think they don't have a lot of videos for me to comment on but based on what they have this is what i came up with so again in review it's a pretty decent course you know they did way better than what i expected them to be the courses are good the lectures are good everything is good on the advanced topics it's not the best option available but yeah it's pretty good so that's all for this video if you have any doubts if you want to ask me something then you can let me know in the comments and i'll be sure to answer also you can let me know what you want me to make a review of next i'm also planning to take the full stack web development course just so i can make a review on it because there's a lot of people asking me like which is the best web development course because lovebubble also has a web development course anuj also has a web development course so i'm going to make a review on this soon enough so stay tuned and if there's anything let me know in the comments we'll be sure to answer thank you